Willie was always Willie has always been outspoken. Yeah, and those kind of people, um, people like Willie D, are gonna always be leaders in the community because they are they are unapologetic and unafraid, and and those are the kind of people that we need as leaders in our community. Well, let me tell you something. Being from Texas, man, them boys right there, they they made us look a different way. We look, we. I, I felt my spirit through them guys, like, because mm -hmm. they were known from Texas. It's like, yeah, we from Texas. It meant something. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Just as far as Manny Fresh, as far as Master P, as far as all these known name mm -hmm. people, what are some, did, did, have you spoken to them since you've been home? And mm -hmm. basically, like, like, what is those conversations like? Oh man, it's just, it's just love for me. For me, with anybody, it's just it's, it's just a mutual respect. Okay, for me. you know, it's, it's when I first got out, man, he took me out to eat. Dope, you know what Dope. I mean. That's so, the kind yeah. of stuff I'm into. Yeah. Cause I, when you get out the first day out, it's serious for me. Because well, everything like, changed. <laughs> everything is not it's, the same right. anymore. What has changed so much? That's another thing. Like, what was oh, the man. biggest? Dip? It's always cell phones. Cell phones it's like, always cell phones. That social media, man. And look, the, yeah. the phones were flipping when I left. Yeah, the that's right. That's right. You can chirp on them. Yeah. Man, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> My wife had to take care of the phone for me. Like social media, I have people be seeing me. They be like, "Man, I DM'd you." What's a DM? How does that work? In fact, I was so, um, I was so computer. Uh, I guess computer you illiterate. Computer illiterate. No, well, I'm gonna say social media. Social illiterate media illiterate. That my wife had to tell me that Willie D has sent me a message after I did the podcast with them. And I had to shout out Willie D. I had to uh, just shout out to Willie D. Man, yeah, I enjoyed my time there. And what's so crazy is I had to message him and Scarface to tell them that I just realized what I was doing, <laughs> and Willie just hit me back with a bunch of uh, crying, laughing emojis because <laughs> I was like, man, I I don't know what I'm doing, man. I, I, I didn't even know how to check this, you know. So, so did you even have you didn't did you know them guys personally when you left? You didn't know those guys, did you? No. Correct, but when you came home, they reached out to you because of your. They know yeah, your story. story. Yeah, story. They are, and, and and you know, I mean, I grew up fans of the Ghetto Boys, so it of was, course, me it too. It was a no brainer when they were like, you know, the Ghetto Boys want you on your podcast. Like I'm going, going over there. So, you come uh, to Dallas too. We bring you up to Dallas. Yeah, I gotta show you some love. So. In fact, I think what was the 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 best thing that I um well one of one of the highlights of of my um my time there at that podcast because it wasn't the best. It was a lot of things I enjoyed. But I asked Face uh, once we finished. You had your own fan him, moment, didn't you? Yeah, I told him. <laughs> I told him. Um, I said, "Man, I know you play instruments." I said, "Let's jam." So we just. I grabbed the bass. He grabbed the guitar, and we just jammed out. That's we dope. Really, wow. We ain't really. I don't even should have recorded that. A lot of people. It was just for me. A lot of people want, don't know that Scarface it. is is so into the producing. Right. You know, Mr. Lee talked about that on our show. Yeah. He was like, "Man, Scarface," because they get they play golf together. They golf mm -hmm. big golfers. And he was like, man, Scarface good at golf, but man, people don't know he hell he can produce, man. Mm -hmm. You know, like that. he can rap, but he got so many attributes to him. And rap a lot on the whole, and 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 the way that music was coming from Scarface, man. That's mm -hmm. and I that's the guy I put against anybody. I tell him, He's I say, the greatest rapper alive. I said, if you go, they be like Jay Z. This I said, nah. listen, anybody, and I'm not just saying it because I'm from Texas. If you go <laughs> get them, if you go get them. I'm gonna go get Scarface every time, bro. And I promise you, Scarface you're not gonna. The and they gonna tell you he's that, the greatest rapper. Did you hear what I just said? Life. They're gonna tell you. They're gonna have to. <laughs> he gonna make it. He is to. like yes. I'm. I'm telling you, since we started, I've heard more Scarface, more UGK than anything else. Yeah, yeah, else. yeah. Because I'm. That's my era, man. Yeah. But Big time. I mean, he's the the originator. He's where DMX. Tupac, Jay Z, Nas, everybody, everybody got a piece of him yeah. in their music. That's exactly right. We were right. trying to get him on the show. We're still working yeah, on it. Yeah, but he was his help. It, it been some stuff yeah, going on. Yeah, that's my guy, man. Yeah. I mean, we were supposed to play golf when he came here, but yeah, you know, you know, we ended up not linking up. But you know, Scarface and me and Scarface relationship is way deeper than music. But I always tell people, without him influencing me and demanding things out of me, I wouldn't be who I am. Right. That's dope, man. How did that make you feel to work, to, to jam out oh, with? Oh, man, that was cool. I just wanted to be able to tell my grandkids we jam. 
Man, you know so yeah. I, how how is it like going on that podcast? I, I see him. I love their movement. But Willie D was already doing stuff. He, mm-hmm. I think it's like he pulled pulled Scarface into it in my right. mind because he right. was always Willie D was on it early on. Well, Willie was always Willie has always been outspoken. Yeah, and those kind of people, um, people like Willie D are going to always be leaders in the community because they are they are unapologetic. And unafraid, and and those are the kind of people that we need as leaders in our community. Well, let me tell you something. Being from Texas, man, them boys right there, they they made us look a different way. We look, we I I felt my spirit through them guys, like because mm-hmm. they were known from Texas. It's like yeah, we from Texas. It meant something right. when you seen Willie D and when you seen Scarface and when you seen Jay Prince, man. Mm-hmm. You know, like we knew that we were special, and and that that helped us. Like. Even I know P, he, and y'all, y'all impacted down here. So, and we so close, man. The boot right by Texas. So, it's Texas, it's Texas to Louisiana, Louisiana, Texas. I told you where I'm from. Man, I'm like, five miles from Louisiana. I like how big the houses is in Texas for the money. <laughs> yeah, that's, see, that's here, the hustle. Man, see out there, you can get a big house that's for true. a couple of dollars. And it look nice. It's very it nice. nice and spacious. So, the land is spacious. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.